time we've seen Hilponen as a starter in this series. Awesome. The 0-2 pitch grounded to the right side and turned into a quick out by Carly Gaughan. And here is Alex Honnold, an event we talked about it last night. And that's also a team leading number. And one triple for this in the middle innings to do it. That's taken the other way and pushed with authority into left field. And once again, just, you know, she just throws her hands and that hung on it. A very sweet swing. And then just notice that our cameras used to be over there. They're not there anymore, huh? They're up good at what they do. Oh, yes. Best in the biz. Grinshaw she hit her. is plumped. Kill has been hit by a pitch. Coach Anderson with the old school signal. Change up. Briggs retreating, reaches over her shoulder and makes the catch. She just. This is the hardest one right over your head. She just gets that in. Phillips is a junior from Kansas City. What? Throw down to first Ooh, and a pretty that was close. close play there. Very close. Will she put the headset on? No. The air. The winner wins the series. Swing and a miss. Pitcher's Phil pitch. Pullman got that breaking ball. And Phillips was not. Or I should say Pleasance and Gutierrez. First batter in the game. But when she starts an inning at the plate. A one-two pitch. Coffee waves at it and can't find it. Tougher slapper. It's making her 17th start, her 18th appearance. And is batting 240 against her. Briggs big... drives this one into left center field, and the center fielder Honnold is calling for it. And Greg Carly Petty gets the ball down, but it's fielded by the pitcher, and she is thrown out. So a 1 2 3 inning. The second inning is straight ahead. Missouri. Kara Daly. Swings on the first pitch and lifts it way up into the air. Oh, my. Stewart and Pleasance look the ball all the way. You can hear Stewart saying, mine, ball. mine, mine, oh, or at yep. least you can read her lips. Yep. Gallagher is two for five. She's driven in three runs in the from Port Washington, New York. Hits this one off the handle. Pleasance. It's just a base hit. Not able to get it over in time. A long... Seven. She's driven in 13. Hit her. That's the second hit batter, right? It is. And this second inning is unfolding just like. And it's game number 51 or 41 for Missouri. Works That'll move the runners. Petty. Donald is three for five. Laird is only one for eight. Yep. Big, big out here. A changeup dribbled to the right side. Short hopped by Petty. That was a little more difficult than it looked initially. Petty. Been saying this for weeks, especially with Pleasant's big. Clark draws another base on balls. That's 32 for her. By far and away, LSU's leading names. Yep, I think she's a. Ooh. Hits it deep. Hits into the center field bleachers. Yes, that baby, goodbye. Allie Newland, who does not hit a lot of balls out of the ball yard, rocketed that one into the center field bleachers. Look at this. Look at that swing. That is a home run swing if you've ever seen one. What a great job where Pleasance usually hits. So LSU's first. From the three or four hitters that uh, preceded and the delivery. Check swing. No swing. Gutierrez is aboard. She has not come close to taking the normal Taylor Pleasant swing. Just the name. Pleasant pokes it into right center field. Gutierrez is scrambling to third. There's an overthrow. Gutierrez. Tiger's doing that in the first game, and here Missouri does it. That ball needs to be thrown to second base. You don't have any play at third. Now there's runners and score. That sounds good. Ruderty on a six-game hitting. 
There's a four pitch pass. Rudity is now at first. Taylor Pinnell is a first year Missouri Tiger from Lee's Summit. Reversing the lefty hitters of LSU. LSU hits left hander. Ah. The play at the plate by for Missouri. one, and there's the only out available to Missouri. That's hitters in the lineup, and most of the time, seven. Probably look at at least one. That's high. It's a four pitch pass. And Taylor Pinnell walks in a run. Oh my goodness, what a pitch. A changeup freezes Briggs and she's called out on strikes. Cal Poly. Pinnell is now finding her groove with that uh... pitch. Two outs, three on, three in. A liner to center field, but it carries out to Alex Honnold, and she makes the catch for the final out of it. Honnold hits it deep. This ball is headed to center field. It's in the bleachers. How important, though, that's a... Honnold is now two for two. She has just smashed her ninth home run of the year. A rising line drive into the center field. And up steps Julia Crenshaw. That's a foul ball. Newland got it in foul ground. Ronald's got another year, just a junior. A liner out to right. It will carry to Rudity. She only had to take one to liner to center field in the first inning. And Briggs. Rudity moves to her right. Two outs now for her time. The one strike pitch to Phillips, grounded to the left side, gobbled up by Coffee. She writes herself and makes a strong throw. Singer is who a is musical it? artist. Oh, some. By the way, a, a very warm moment between innings here as second inning. And she's called out. That pitch came back. Newland drills one into the right field corner. It is down on one hop against the wall. Allie Newland stops at second base with her fifth double. Passed out this little questionnaire at the beginning of the year. You know what her intended occupation is going to be or wants to be? Tell me. Something in major in the second and then gave one back on the Honnold home run in the third. Got to get that hot hand more at bats. Gutierrez with Newland moving to third. Lifted into shallow left field. This is Maybe. not going to be yeah, deep enough. Too shallow. Phillips. He's done really a good job as a converted slapper. And she slaps this one maybe with a little too much authority as it carries out to Phillips. For the daily has flied to left. Hannah Corson early in the season. That's playable. Carly Petty has the best angle at second base and she two batters, one in each inning. It was a, a like, deadhead like run for the bus. Like football does. Petty was able to get to it and keep it from rolling into center field, but a base hit by Gallagher by biodiesel fuel that's uh, created from Missouri soybeans. That's cool. So I'm think, presuming. I don't think we have that here, right? Natural gas and oil. Two balls and a strike of the year for Gallagher. Good to run with the lefty up there, kind of blocking your view. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that took a nasty hop. But, but it's turned into an out, a 3-4-3 three, three put out. You don't house game pitch. Strike one, strike two, strike three. You could swing. The 2-2. Two, two. Smacked up the middle, a base hit for Rudity. She has walked and singled. Coffee is on deck. The 3-2 pitch. Got a great corner field. It is down on a couple of hops against the wall. Rudity pulls up at third base. Stewart. 
Haven't been able to, well, they. The one, two, yeah. gets away. And Rudity scores from third base. Rudy was a little late in recognizing that. Grounded foul, pass first. You know, it's two pitch. Grounded under the glove of the first baseman. A base hit for Coffee, an RBI. And the Tigers on a wild pitch and an RBI. Seems is not leaving people on base in uh, scoring position. For ERA, almost 100 innings, 80 strikeouts, 22. Missouri is kind of playing her in the infield, thinking. Briggs lays the barrel of the bat on the ball and drives it into center field for a base hit. She did not try to do too much. We've got a nice crowd here. Might be feeding off of that. Ooh. A ripper into the right field corner. One Tiger scores. Here comes another one. A double by Petty. Last week or two. Run lead here, no one out. LSU Tigers have a chance to run. She hits it deep. It's going, going, going. And can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. Georgia Clark standing in Tiger Park. On this Bark in the Park day, the Tigers are letting the dog. Back in the second inning and doubled her last time. Drills this one deep and it's caught near the warning track by Sean Tease Phillips. Again for Missouri. Ground ball up the middle between the second baseman Gallagher Look and at the bat. Here's the throw. Got out. It. That's a good throw and got her. I think the last time we said that and she got a hit. She's an imposing figure at the plate. Good pitch. Off speed pitch gets Strude swinging, but the Tigers wrap six. Ball. Not softball yet. Laird rips it, but Briggs is equal to the task. Two pitches, two outs. Honnold is retired. Can't do more better than at least a base runner in every inning. Let's see if Kilponen can close it out. Coffee from near third base. Gutierrez on the receiving end. And the Tigers get a one, two, eight, four hitter thrown by LSU pitchers. And the Tigers got three in the second. That's all they would need. But they want a much more comfortable game for LSU than the first two. Good comeback for LSU. Story on a great day from Baton Rouge. LSU had to worry about Mother Nature, but all